Uh, my name is Hillary Model. I work uh, for Atlas Tool and Die Works. It's a family business in Lyons. Uh, we do manufacturing of um, uh, any sort of metal products. Uh, we do stamping, fabrication, laser cutting, water jet cutting, uh, forming, uh, precision machining, and wire EDM as well. Yes. Uh, the Rose Model Award uh, was, was originated about four or five years ago. The women in TMA were, were looking to recognize women who have been involved in manufacturing and who have been leaders, um, both um, either, either at their business or um, in the community as well and involved with the TMA. So looking to recognize specifically women since we are an industry that's predominantly males. <laughs> so uh, the winner of the Rose Model Award this year will be Carol Ebel. She uh, works at Forer, is the president of Jandler Corporation, and she is winning. She's, she's a fantastic uh, candidate for this award, and she has um, a whole host of, of uh, degrees, a CPA and MBA, and uh, she's been the president of her of her of Jandler Corporation for 23 years, like I said. Uh, but she's also very involved in the TMA. She's uh, was the first woman to be uh, chairman of the TMA, which is just a, a amazing in and of itself. And um, served on many committees: the Women's TMA, the Education Committee, um, the Board of Directors for six years. So, uh, and, and on top of that, she's also just a very energetic woman, um, a, a real strong leader. She's uh, um, very dynamic and she gets people to, 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 to follow her and to listen to her and to, and to um, you know, she's just, she's just a very strong leader and, and a, a, a very wonderful woman. I, somebody that people aspire to be like and um, so I think she's a perfect candidate for this award. And, and on top of it, she's, she's involved with training, uh, trying to get, to get uh, youth involved in manufacturing and, and setting up different education programs to get, again, young people involved in this, in this field. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Like Brian said, I am Hillary Model, and I am very excited to present the award winner for the Rose Model Leadership and Manufacturing Award on behalf of the Women in TMA Committee. This award is given to a female that has worked to advance the manufacturing industry and whose efforts serve as inspiration to current and future generations of women in manufacturing. Now this year is also particularly emotional as this is our first year without my grandma Rose. And I know she would have hated to miss this party. <laughs> uh, especially at such a familiar place to her and with so many people around uh, that were that were very much loved by her. I am very much honored to announce on behalf of the Women in TMA Committee that our recipient for the Rose Model Award this year is Ms. Carol Eagle. really important to recognize and promote the contributions that women have made to the industry. Rose was chosen as our first recipient because she exemplified the characteristics of a woman who is a leader. Rose was the first woman board member of the TMA, was the vice president of Atlas Tool and Die, and she was a strong, confident woman who relied on her inner strengths to contribute and lead in an industry that was really dominated by men. She was well respected and left a tremendous family and legacy. And I am so very honored to have been chosen by my peers for this award. I really appreciate it.
role model, models and, and mentors really do imprint themselves on our imagination and shape how we think and act. Uh, without such images of strong, independent women, the idea of being such a person would really be unthinkable. The Rose Model Award really provides an enduring image of women exercising leadership in manufacturing. Rose was one of those, Rose mo those role models. She had the experience to add perspective and credibility to the women of future generations choosing careers in manufacturing. It's important for us to be mentored, and it's really important for us to mentor in order to encourage and engage the next generation of women. I'm extremely fortunate to have had many strong women role models, starting with my family, particularly my mother, who showed tremendous inner strength and leadership as she juggled raising 10 children and being the support to my father while he built his business. She had confidence in herself and in her journey, which provided me with that basic foundation of confidence. Along the way, I've had the benefit of many other mentors, and teachers, siblings, friends, co-workers, and many of you right here in this, meet, in this meeting hall at the TMA. All have been extremely important in my journey. When the opportunity to fill a leadership role presented itself to me, I personally viewed it as really a tremendous responsibility as well as an honor and privilege. And I really thank all of you and all that have had that influence. In closing, I just want to share with you two contrasting images of women in manufacturing. In, in a way too recent past, automotive, automotive News had an article where they had um, quoted a General Motors plant manager as saying, in the manufacturing environment, women have to have rhinoceros skin. <laughs> and it's like, wow, you know, I just had to laugh out loud because I was like, are you kidding? And I just really, I knew the attitude existed. I know the environment in some places on this earth exists. But I really was shocked to see it printed in black and white, and as recent as a couple years ago, because I just couldn't relate. And I didn't think it was the image that manufacturing really uh, wanted to project to women, because I just didn't think it really needed to exist anymore. And as I thought about what he had said, I also thought about, or it reminded me of something that one of our first ladies, Eleanor Roosevelt, had said about women. She said that women themselves are like tea bags. You don't know how strong they are until they're in hot water. Yeah. Hi, I'm Carol Ebel, and I'm the president of Jandler Corporation in Chicago. Um, I am very honored that I am the 2013 recipient of the Rose Model Award. I'm really passionate about women in, in manufacturing. I've spent the last 25 years of my life uh, working in a uh, manufacturing environment. The Rose Model Award really represents to me um, the role model, I guess, that, that Rose uh, really emulated, uh, a woman with inner strength, um, real honesty, uh, integrity, and uh, showed leadership in her style uh, throughout the decades that she served uh, Atlas Tool, as well as the Industry and Tool and Die Institute, TMA. So I really look forward to the next year and, and beyond 
uh, representing the Rose Model Award and representing women in manufacturing to our next generation. Thank you. Thank you.